I wanted to also go over the five trends of 2023. And I want to give a shout out to Rune Fisker here at Three Shape. He made a beautiful post on LinkedIn about these five trends. And I was like, ooh, that's good. I'm going to steal it. So these are not my original thoughts. They are his. But I think it was really, really good and just good to reflect on what we're seeing in the industry and where things are headed. So the first one is intraoral scanning. So lucky for us, 3Shape has a, a great intraoral scanner called the Trios. And, you know, iOS penetration in the U.S. is now over 50%. So we're seeing a huge shift from analog to digital, which makes our lives so much easier, right? But what was really cool to see specifically here at 3Shape is uh, in 2022, the number of Trios cases grew by 66%. And every two seconds around the globe, uh, a case was scanned with a Trio. So we're just seeing such uh, adoption of digital technology in clinics. It's just really exciting to watch. Um, and we think one of the major trends for 2023 is going to be a pickup in iOS usage for full and partial denture workflows. So we're going to really start to see the, the pendulum swing from analog to digital when it comes to um, digital dentures. And then the next one is going to be 3D printers and 3D printing materials. So, you know, right along with the iOS scanners, 3D printers are really the hottest equipment in the digital category. I mean, they're just exploding that you see almost weekly, I feel like I'm seeing new technology or new automation or new materials. And it's it's almost hard to keep up with all the innovation in that space. So it is really exciting to see what's becoming available. Again, on the, the 3D printed uh, dentures, I think that that's gonna become more commonplace to see them done digitally versus analog. And then we're also seeing that um, 3D printed final crowns are beginning to pop up in the early adopter dental practices. And when you think about controlling costs or increasing profitability, a 3D printed final crown can be really profitable. So that's quite exciting to see, especially when you combined AI into that workflow which leads me to AI everywhere. So that's why you guys are here today. You know, AI is going to become reality for most clinics and labs this year, if it's not so that already, right? Like AI is in everything from the iOS scanner to the CAD design softwares to the 3D printers. It's in every piece of equipment that we're using, whether you know it or not. So I think one of the exciting things is obviously 3Shape Automate. We're going to go over that a lot today, but also in x-ray, there's, you know, they're able to do such great analysis and diagnostics using AI to catch things that the human eye might not pick up, which leads to earlier, uh, Oh, <laughs> earlier adoption uh, of treatment planning, right? Um, so I think AI is going to continue to change the way that we practice dentistry. I think it's exciting. I think it's not something to be afraid of in dentistry, at least. I think we should adopt it, embrace it, learn how we can use it to benefit our business this year. And then next is going to be a hyper-connected world. So obviously, the world is large, but it's becoming much smaller, right? And, and digital is driving dentistry to become an ecosystem that is interconnected softwares and devices and sensors. I remember eight short years ago when I first started here, you know, all of these individual standalone softwares and scanners, nothing talked together. And it was so frustrating to try and move this file over here and drag and drop this over here. And it made the workflow so clunky and frustrating. And so, you know, I think that a growing number of devices and softwares in the clinic and in the lab will become interconnected with the lab management softwares and the practice management softwares and everything is going to talk together, which is going to make our lives so much more easy and the workflows way more integrated. So I think that's going to continue to be more of a trend moving forward. And then last but not least is uh, a digital twin, right? So this is where virtual simulation may, meets the real person. So you, your patient, you go to the, the clinic and they can build a digital twin of you. And that's combining inputs from so many different devices, from sensors and softwares and x-rays that allows for a much better, faster diagnosis, uh, more complex treatment planning, and particularly when you add in the AI piece, right? And so using a digital twin to provide better dentistry moving forward is gonna be just a really cool thing in patient care. So these are the five trends that uh, we see happening in 2023. I hope you found it useful. I know I did, I thought it was really fascinating. And with that, we are ready to jump into AI everywhere. So 3Shape Automate.